Hey, it's Susie, and you're listening to 90.5. Hey guys, welcome to Tea Talk. I'll be reading your weekly horoscope and answering a mystery question, so stay tuned. Tired of your ugly zip pimple filled face? Look no further, because Clean Face is coming to a store near you. With Ultra Mega Cleansing Formula, your skin will be so sit free that you'll shine. Pre order today and we'll throw in a Clean Face product 75% off. Just go to www.cleanface.net or call 999 4225. Clean Face, your face will really shine. Me, but go ahead and sting me with your lips, cause you're just about to kill me. Won't you set me free? But give me one more glance as you walk away. Hey guys, today I'm going to have your weekly horoscopes. In case you already don't know, I'll be having the dates along with them as well, so listen up. Aquarius, January 20th through February 18th. When you choose to invest something or someone, you do it because you believe it'll make you happy. Buyer's remorse is real though. You may think you want something, but you might end up feeling burdened instead of better once when you get it. This week you may have a bit may have a bit that to contend with. Look for the bet- for the bigger picture at play under the surface. Investigate your ideas about happiness, Aquarius. Better understand what you think is possible, how you go about getting it, and what you do once you've got it. Pieces. February 19th to March 20th. The world is currently a place of tumult and destabilizing for everyone, but especially for those like you who are sensitive to the energy of people around you. Be mindful of who you spend th- this time around with. Be mindful with who you spend this week with. You're in need of serious self-care, and if someone is making you feel shaky or worse, you don't need to spend time with them. Don't wait until you hit a wall to enact your boundaries. Acknowledge your need for calm this week. Arius, March 21 through April 19. This week? This week is a great time for reflection, but that's not what you're most likely to do. Be careful of being a know-it-all. If you write as rain in a dry spell, no one wants to be preached. Let the truth inspire your imagination and direct your plans. And try not to give into desire to force others to drink your Arius Kool-Aid. Stay emotionally present when people don't agree with you. Once you've set your peace, it's your turn to be an excellent listener. Taurus, April 20th through May 20th. How well you put your life together is a debatable topic, Taurus. It all depends on your metrics. If all you do is consider the external checkpoints of success, you may be dealing with low-key anxiety while losing track of why or where it's coming from. Pretend you're your own best friend and give yourself the advice you think you really need. How can you be happier with your life? If you pay attention, this week will reveal what it what is and isn't working for you. Gemini, May 21st through June 21st. This week will give you the energy boost you need to get yourself into gear. Your sy- synapses are on fire. You're making connections that work. The trick is to stay focused and not to spread your efforts, efforts over way too wide a landscape. You're capable of so much, but you ultimately have a, to make a choice. Do you want to do a bit of everything or go deep into one or two things? The choice is yours, Twin Star, and it's time for you to decide. Cancer, June 22nd through July 22nd. Things are settling, but not necessarily in a pre- pleasant way. You have to answer your, for your actions, Moon Child. Even if you think you're innocent, you don't get to decide for others who you make them feel. How you make them feel. Get ready to eat some humble pie this week, my love. There's nothing wrong with making mistakes or going through a learning curve in your development. Just own where you're at. Moving forward, try to do better when and how you can. Leo, July 23rd through August 22nd. Love is perplexing. That's how you feel. And there's and then there's how you act. It's not enough to mean well, you have to act right too. Leo, you may be feeling great when someone comes out of the woodwork with a backlog of complaints. But don't be so cavalier with other people's feelings, even if dealing with them harshes your mellow. If you're willing to be honest, you can have clarifying conversations to bring you closer to people you care about. Step up, my love. Virgo, August 23rd to September 22nd. Watch your spending. If you have a tendency to shop your feelings away, you can expect to feel like you just have to get that fake fur centerpiece, but trust that you don't. Stay with the restless part of your feelings that make that make you want to go out and collect what you really need what you really need is a meaningful time with your friends or dear diary to get deep about what's been going on inside of you it's 
tank to unpack your issues, not add more distractions. Libra, September 23rd to October 22nd. You have the right to think or say whatever you want, Libra, but so do others. This week, you may be feeling uncharacteristically mouthy, and while I like it, others may not. Make sure that you don't say your piece with defensiveness or without first checking to see if the other person is open to hear it. This is great for getting to the heart of matters, but you may find other messy parts while you're there. Don't be scared of the truth. Scorpio, October 23rd through November 21st. You're likely to have some feelings for your lifestyle this week, Scorpio. And it's right on time. Take an honest look at your work, work-life balance. Are you getting joy value from the things that you devote most of your time to? If not, this is the time to confront what isn't working and to visualize a plan. If you're making com- compromises with your life, strive to have them be in- intentional and purposeful. This is your one life to live, and you deserve to do it right. Sagittarius, November 22nd through December 21st. There's a fine line between excitement and anxiety, and sometimes it's hard to tell them apart. The chatter in your head may be extra all over the place, and it's important that you take the time to find your center. If you indulge nervous thinking, it will leave you feeling exhausted and confused, which will only make matters worse. If your body is a tool for finding calm, hit the gym, dance to drop, or get in, out in nature. Connect with the materials to find peace this week. And last but not least, Capricorn. December 22nd through January 19th. You may be feeling extra chatty this week, and that's awesome. In fact, it's a great time for connecting your friend, with your friends. Doing any kind of networking or making plans, the only downside is that you may be so busy having genius thoughts that you miss out on the little things. Pursue a big picture, but rein it in, Cappy. Make sure to listen closely to what others are saying and double check to do your work, especially if you're feeling extra excited or distracted. That's all the horoscopes I have for today. Um, today we'll be having a throwback. Here's some Chris Brown and you. Stay tuned. You're listening to Tea Talk in 90.5. The only station that gives relevant advice. I gotta see you, boo. And the heart's all over the world tonight. Said the heart's all over the world tonight. I need you, boo. That's the reason I'm so sick of love songs. So tired of tears. So done with wishing you are still here. Is your phone your life? Do you really see it this way? What about when you're driving? Is that text from Johnny still important? What about other fellow drivers around you? Is answering that text really worth risking their lives? Think about it twice before you take the wrong decision. Drive safe. Think about others around you. Don't text and drive. Okay, and I'm back with the weather. Um, Laredo heat is it's kind of terrible. The radio tends to be very bipolar. It's going to be in the pretty high 80s, so mostly sunny weather. A lot of heat, so make sure you get a hat or something, because Laredo heat is hot. Now, are you one of those people that love to have your room messy? Well, maybe that should change. Uh, 18-year-old... 18-year-old Ju- Julia Petro was just about to get a snack when she jumped out of bed and her foot literally got stabbed by her iPhone charger. Can you imagine that? There was no blood or anything, but the iPhone charger literally just like stabbed her talon. It she even she, I don't know how she thought she thought of going to take a picture of it. First thing first. Well, maybe you should keep your room clean. Um. All right. After this track, I'll be answering a mystery question, so stay tuned. I fell right through the cracks. Now I'm trying to get back. Before the cool done run out, I'll be giving it my best. This and nothing's going Well, I'm back, and I'm finally, I'll just be answering the mystery question. The question is, whoa, it was sent by a 15-year-old. I'm trying to approach this new cute guy in my class. <laughs> How should I do it? All right, don't don't stress too much about it. First, don't approach him very quick or a lot because you'll come off as creepy and and I don't know. Guys tend to get like 
more farther away if you pay attention to them or yeah if you pay attention to them slowly just start make a casual conversation with them for example you can ask him for a pencil or an eraser if he knows the answer to something um every once in a while like bring up something like what he ate yesterday or how was the game as as much as you might not be interested in whatever he's talking about you still try to make an effort to listen because it's really important to show interest guys love when you show interest to whatever they like even if it doesn't typically interest you try try to show as much interest don't 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 be boring just continue the conversation don't just end it and like okay and never talk again try to make a flowy conversation that's all the time i have for today thanks for tuning in catch me next time